Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we're looking at the fourth method of differentiation known as product rule. Alright, so before we look at product rule, let's first of all understand what a product is. A product, by definition, is the result of multiplication. So hence, product rule is used when two terms are multiplying. If I have um, 2 and 3, obviously the product of 2 and 3 is 6. If I have 8 and 10, the product of 8 and 10 is 80. So when it comes to product, we are saying that the, a product is simply the result of multiplication or multiplying two terms. So hence, we use product true when we have terms that are multiplying themselves. That is the concept. Um, given a function f of x being expressed as the product of u and v such that u and v are both functions of x. Let's say u of x multiplying v of x. From product true, we have that f prime of x, which is also known as dy all over dx, is equal to v du all over dx plus u dv all over dx. The concept is, I'll call the first term on my left, I'll call it u, differentiate u with respect to x, so I'm having u and then d over dx, call the term on the right, call it v, and then differentiate v with respect to x, so I'm having v and then dv over dx. We'll take a typical example and look at how this works. So for example, for example, let's say I have y being equal to um, x squared plus 3 all into 3x squared plus 5 for instance let's say i have this all right so this becomes a product true differentiation question because you can see that x squared plus 3 that's this now is multiplying 3x squared plus 5 this so this is multiplying this since they are multiplying it becomes a product true differentiation problem all right so what's your tax there so case one i'll say let u be equal to the term on my left hand side which is what here x squared plus 3. Next up, I'll differentiate u with respect to x such that I will have that du all over dx is equal to, this gives you 2x, constant is 0, so it's off. So I'm having here as 2x, constant is 0, so it's off. Next up, I will say let v be equal to the next term here, which is 3x squared plus 5. I'll differentiate v with respect to x, so I'll have that dv all over dx is equal to, if I differentiate this, it gives you this and this gives you 6x plus 5 is a constant, and that gives you 0, so it's off. Alright, at this point, I will now recall my product rule formula. Recall that from, foot, from product rule, we have that dy over dx is equal to v du over dx plus u dv all over dx. At this point, you now substitute values. I'm having v here. v is equal to 3x squared plus 5. So this becomes 3x squared plus 5 into du over dx du over dx here is 2x so it gives you 2x plus next of i'm having u u is equal to x squared plus 3 so it becomes x squared plus 3 into dv over dx dv over dx is equal to 6x so into 6x i have this at this point i will now expand the bracket so it becomes this times this Having 3 times 2 gives you 6. x squared plus x gives you x cubed plus this times this. 5 times 2x gives you 10x plus this and this. So 
x squared times 6x gives you 6x cubed. I'm having 6x cubed plus 3 times 6x gives you what? 18x. All right, so I have this. Next up, I'll take up like terms. Um, that means the terms having x cubed here. So it becomes 6x cubed plus 6x cubed. That's this plus this. And now take this ones, 10x and 18x. So plus 10x plus 18x. This now equals 6x plus 6x cubed plus 6x cubed gives you 12x cubed plus 10x plus 18x gives you 28x. So here's my answer. If you want to still, you could factorize. Um, I could factorize this to be equal to, um, if I take out two here, divide this by two, divide this by two, I'm having six left here, or perhaps two x. I'm saying two x is a better factor than this. If I take out two x, or better still, my best um, factors of factorizing this would be four x, since four can divide this and this. Also, x, there's an x cube here, there's an x here. So my best factor here should be 4x. All right, 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. So I'm having 3 here. x cubed divided by x gives you x squared plus 28 divided by x gives you 7. x divided by x gives you what there? 1. So I'm having times 1, which is 7. So this becomes my answer. All right, so this is the answer using product rule. So here becomes um, the method of solving differentiation using product rule.